Peter, as this is a live news and current affairs programme where we bring our lovely listeners and audience breaking news, I'm going to break news to you at the same time as I'm breaking it to everybody else. This is breaking news. We have literally just heard this. Lee Anderson has met with Richard Tice of the Reform Party. So you're hearing this as I'm hearing it, Peter, and as our political correspondent, I would want to know what your reaction to that news is. As far as we're aware at the moment, just a meeting, but a meeting between Lee Anderson and Richard Tice of the Reform Party. What are your thoughts? And I realise these are your spontaneous thoughts, obviously. That's OK. That's my job, Vanessa. I mean, I think Lee Anderson meeting Richard Tice is probably the next logical step in this five-day maelstrom of his comments, which many people, including me, believe are racist and factually wrong. But Richard Tice is leader of Reform UK, and many people in Reform UK and elsewhere feel there is a debate to be had about Islamism in this country and the problems that that is, that that is, is bringing us and facing uh, at various points. Lee Anderson... Uh, probably wouldn't get back to the Conservative Party, but many Conservatives I've been speaking to over the last number of days are quite annoyed at how he's been treated. But he has lost the whip, so he's been suspended from the Conservative Party. Now, there may well be an investigation that may go on for a long time, but coming down the tracks is the general election. His constituency of Ashfield is one that he could probably win for Reform UK, and actually he's got a big personal mandate. So what's really interesting from Richard Tyson, Reform UK's uh, perspective, and Nigel Farage, the president of Reform UK, was talking about this a couple of days ago as well, is the fact that they're meet, meeting or have met. I wouldn't be surprised if Lee Anderson becomes the first Reform UK MP, unelected for them so far, but actually when you get to the general election, I think that could be a really big and successful vote for Reform UK. They may get their first MP. What's also really interesting, Vanessa, is that Lee Anderson started out as a Labour politician. Then he went to the Conservative Party. Now, could he be going to Reform UK? Quite a political journey he's been on. All right, just talk us through a little about Reform UK, what it stands for and who the heavy hitters are. I mean, we know, obviously, about Nigel Farage. Uh, Richard Tice may be familiar to Talk TV viewers and listeners, may not be. You may want to tell us a little bit about him and anything else we need to know about the potential power and influence, if you think there is much, uh, of Reform UK, what role it might play in the forthcoming general election. So Reform UK is actually doing really well in the uh, in the opinion polls at the moment, far better than they have previously. But they're a young party. They've only really been around for three or four years. However, they've come out of the split in UKIP. The Brexit party came out of that. And the Brexit party essentially became Reform UK. It can be tricky to keep up with all these different names. And of course, Bre the Brexit party was so incredibly clear what they stood for. And they did very, very well, especially in the 2019 uh, European election, which was an absolute disaster for Theresa May. The Conservatives got something like 9%. But then we're in a situation where Reform UK kind of comes out of that after we Brexited. They're a young party. They don't have, uh, they have a few councillors, but they don't have any MPs, for example. And really what they're looking for is an MP, at least one MP, because even though they have perhaps 12, 13% of the vote, depending on which uh, uh, opinion polls you look at at the moment, it's very thinly spread. And there are very few constituencies where someone like Nigel Farage or Richard Tice, the leader who is a businessman and, uh, and uh, TV presenter as well, is someone who uh, would be looking for a seat. But, I mean, Nigel Farage has stood many times to be a Member of Parliament and has never so far been successful, though he's probably one of the most influential politicians alive in Britain today. So this will be a really interesting thing for Reform UK, which has a... Uh, would say it has traditional conservative values. There are a lot of people who feel that the, conservatives have, the Conservative Party has become too liberal. Uh, there would be a lot of... Uh, I mean, it's very interesting from Reform UK's perspective because Nigel Farage has kind of flirted with the Conservative Party. People like Priti Patel, Suella Braverman, those on the right of the Conservative Party would be not a million miles away from where Nigel Farage is. And actually, at the launch of the popular Conservatives, this Conservatism, this group a few weeks ago, Nigel Farage was there as well and said, look, our Reform UK policies are basically pop cons policies, popular conservatism policies, and there is definitely a bit of a crossover between the right wing of the Conservative Party and Reform UK. So it's really interesting to see that Lee Anderson, who could have basically the same views, but fit in probably quite well at Reform UK, is talking to its leader, Richard Tice, about that. Now, Richard Tice is someone who many Talk TV viewers and listeners will know, of course, but it's really Nigel Farage who most people know 
in the country. So if Nigel Farage it plays a big role in their electoral campaign and Lee Anderson would be standing for Reform UK in Ashfield, it could be a really, really, really interesting election there. And the big question for Rishi Sunak is what does he do at that stage? Who does he put up against Lee Anderson? Because he has a high personal vote. He's someone who speaks to a lot of people. You may not like him. You may think he's a terrible human being, but a lot of people like him and a lot of people feel that he had some sort of point uh, in terms of what he said the other day, even if he expressed it in a clumsy way and even if what he said, uh, in my view anyway, was racist and factually incorrect. So very, very interesting developments today. And I think, I mean, this is day five of this crisis for the Conservative Party. Uh, tomorrow, let's see if he joins Reform UK or maybe they'll spin it out for another day. Keep if, the speculation if going. If he does, and Peter, I hope you'll be here on my sofa to discuss moment. it with me. Thank you so much, Peter Cardwell, uh, spontaneously responding to breaking news because that's what you get here on Talk TV.